Okay? So now you're going to wash off that brush really good in the water. And you're still doing your grass. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you some Payne's Gray, which is my favorite color. It's Payne's Gray. And black and brown you got. It's gray and gray, you can make gray out of black. You got black there, and no, we don't have black yet. Black. Oh, here. Where's the black? I had black here. <laughs> that's Payne's gray. It looks like black, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's black. Oh, okay. Okay, and that'll make your gray. See the gray on the trunk? Yep. Okay, it's yep. an old trunk. Mm -hmm. And you can use a bit of brown too, just to get a contour, but not too much because your your uh, your fall colors in your tree yep. are so bright, you want to contrast. So don't put any really brown in your trunk. Leave it gray, I think it'd be good. Oh, okay. okay, now you're going to just do a gnarly trunk. Okay. And you can do that with a little uh, square brush if you want. I think better than a pointy brush. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you take something like this. Yeah. Now that is a watercolor brush. Oh, okay. that, that's a soft. So this is how you can tell watercolor brushes. They're nice and soft. Softly clean. And then the and then your stiffer ones are for acrylic and oil. They're oh, stiff. Okay. Like horse hair. I think yeah. these horse hair, whatever. Yeah. These are nice and soft. Now how do I get the fine lines with that brush then? Which fine lines? The the branches. Branches? Yeah. Uh, you just get a skinnier brush. So this one's, got, you look at it this way, mm -hmm. it's got some, it's got some depth. Yeah. Okay. You want as thin as you can find. So what you do is you can get, you can go a little pointy one. Okay. And that'll get you the smaller, smaller ones. Okay. Okay. Make sure it's nice and pointy. You want to make sure that's a nice point at the end. Mm-hmm. See that, see that's a smaller brush. Yeah. But that's got a smaller point. Right. I don't know if you can see it there, everybody. I'm going to just put this in front of the camera here so you can see it. One's a smaller brush, but actually the point is thicker. It's fluffier. So you want as pointy as you can get. Okay. You smell so pretty. No, I do the <laughs> black first and then... Yes, and your the... branches. Do your trunk yeah. from the bottom. And don't worry about the grass right now. We're going to put grass in front of it afterwards. Okay. Just put it, start, start it where there. you want. Yeah. And remember, it's biggest at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Make it gnarly if you can. It's an old tree. Yep, there you go. Do your outline first is good. And are you mucking around too much now? Or are you okay? You're okay. You want, well, that looks kind of good that way of white. A little bit different. Yeah, it almost kinda... looks like it's in front of it. Part of I like it. These have yeah, come through. Yeah, yeah. You might want to just uh, stop there. Wherever you feel you want to stop, I would stop. Wherever you feel good about it, stop. I kind of like it. Okay. Then stop. Okay. Okay. If you feel like it's finished, stop. Now you're going to do the same. You're going to take this brown mm -hmm. and a little bit of black. And we're going to make a nice little tree trunk with a nice little brush. Cutesy little, what's all I got here? I got blue. <laughs> for okay. You know, one thing I've found too, I think, makes a difference is sometimes I hold my brushes like a pencil too far down. Mm -hmm. And if I try and hold them farther up like this, it helps. Like Lorna is, it's, yep. it's it helps. Me. That's very true. Good, obs good observation. That's how we find out what's best is when we do it like that. So there's a nice little brush you can, a square brush. Use that on the end. On the end, you're going to go like this. Not okay. use it this way. Right. Okay. You can for the bottom and then twist it. If you want to go a little bit smarer. Oh, never be afraid of twisting your brush a little bit. This is the Payne's Gray. A little bit of black and a little brown. Yeah, you're not going to eat it too much because you just have a short trunk there.
Okay. Don't have to worry too much because your trees, most of your branches are gonna be covered. Okay. Don't get too fussy. Just do 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 bits and pieces. You're gonna cover all those ends anyway. Don't worry about edges ends because you're gonna cover them all. And you want yours darker. Use that. Are you, are you using brown in there? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The paint's gray. It has to be black. Black, black, black. Now, you have a shadow on yours. Yeah. I want you to look at the tree trunk. Where's the shadow on the right? Mm -hmm. where's, the, where's your shadow on the tree? On the right. Right. So you want that right side of the tree black as the ace of spades. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. You can leave that brown. But get but that get black, the black. Yeah, um, black line right up there. Oh, okay. So just do a nice little line. You might want a little pointy brush. That might be too big for you. A brush. i give you a little pointy brush here. It's a real tiny one. Here's a real tiny one. Try that one. I'll, I'll wash that for you. And just just go on top of the brown on the right hand side and just do a nice little edge. Black edge. Nice and black. And that's your shadow side of the tree. Very nice. I love it. Okay. Really stick it. You like it? I do. Good. Okay. Now you're going to wash this brush. <laughs> <laughs> now you can take a nice fluffy brush with some different greens. And they have to be deep, deep, deep greens. Those are deep greens. We're going to take a fluffy, cheapy, like crummy brush guy. and you're going to smash it like this. Don't be afraid of hurting the brush. Oh, okay. Go like this. Okay. All right. And uh, and then you got dark darkest greens, which is your Payne's gray. You can use that first. Yeah. On the right, do dots of it. Okay. And then we're going to give you the different shades and of green. Then, then you go this darkest, next darkest, yeah. and then the lightest on the left side. Oh, okay. So how's that? That's good. You don't need to. Like I said, you don't need to do that very much. It's going to be all covered. Should the trunk be thicker? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You go a little light gray on that left side. Get some light in there, get some white in there. Some white on your brush. Yeah, get some white and light, light gray. And kind of put some lines, see? It's kind of like old on that side, gnarly. Yeah. There you go. Just just don't don't try to paint it in. Just kind of clunk it in. Clunk, clunk, clunk. There you go. Just just feather it. Nice and light, feathery. I'll give you an old look, especially on the edge, the outside edge. Yeah, that's good. It's okay. A bit, more, a bit more here. It's too perfect, eh? Okay. But maybe make it a little bit oddy. And, you know, see how it goes up and down the tree. It's not really a straight, perfect ball. A little, you know, get it where you think it's kind of unusual and interesting, and then stop. Okay. Quirky. Quirky. I like quirky. Okay. There. Now you can take that same brush with the black in it and take your next darkest green. This guy. This guy. Touch it in there. You might want to get some of it off on your paper so it isn't so glumpy. Yeah. Get rid of it and then same thing. Start with your la yeah, like start a little bit in here and a little bit more, a little bit more. You have very little on this side. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then, yeah, there you go. Not solid, not Ooh. solid, just here and there. You're going to use the other green too, you're not finished, so that's just that green. I've, and you can even fill, even leave some spaces if you want the sky to come through, remember? Oh, the sky right, can right. come through, you don't have to have it solid like in the picture. You can have some of the sky come through if you want. Makes it more, more real. Now take your light color, 
Get a little bit of white in there if you want to kind of make a little bit more. Oh, okay, just that's your next shade. That's your next shade. Okay. There you go. Just to cover the spaces a little bit here and there. There you go. Look at that. That's beautiful. You're fussing too much. Okay. The branches aren't important. Is the tree. Okay. Okay, you're going to cover all that up. Okay. So let's put that away. I'll wash it for you. And you're going to take your oranges now and another fluffy, ugly brush. Okay. Get the ugliest one I could find you. Fluffy, fluffy. Here's one here, I think. This might be a little soft. But try that. might be too soft. Try it dry. Okay. And uh, get your oranges there, your browns, your yellows. Now you're going to make reds. you got all your colors you wanna, there. Deep reds. Do I mix them all in one brush? That's up to you. You can start, if you do start, start with your darkest and move out. Yeah. So your darkest would be a little bit of red, red. here and there. That deep, deep, deep yeah. red is over here. Mm -hmm. And just a wee bit of it. Deep, deep. And then let it go. And then, and then start adding your next color, okay. would be the orange or the lighter red. But don't ever wash it off. Just keep adding your colors to it. Then you'll get lots of shades. That's nice. Really nice. There we go. I love it. You like it? Yes, I, I do. I really like it. I do. I got yeah. a little white in there. Yeah. Now you white. actually have already a shadow. bit of a shadow. <laughs> I, I think that's a natural place to put your shadow. Yeah. So you could actually take that, those colors that you have right now, mm -hmm. and touch it with a little bit of brown. Brown. Just touch it, not too much paint, and dab it. Just you see how it's spotty. Mm -hmm. Just spotty, and do the tree bigger here than here. This actually can even be left there a little bit like that, or take a little tiny brush and just do a little bit, because your trunk doesn't going to leave much shadow and your rest of the tree will leave a bit more of a shadow. That's lovely. See, it's between the grass. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now I would just continue that line. You have to make sure it goes to the trunk. So take this, no, that's too fat. Use this one and do the same thing now and go towards your tree. And that'll be your trunk. See how it's at the, around the bottom of the tree too? Look at the picture. And go on the other side of the tree a little tiny bit. Just very light. Very light. It's a shadow. It's just a shadow. Mush it in quite a bit. Don't have it so bright and harsh. Okay, start with your other colors now. You're starting to dab and dab with the keep. Yeah, that was just a little bit of red you need. Now, okay. your next color. Yeah, orange. Yeah, you can go, you can mix those two oranges. That, that, that red is a bit bright. You might want to mix those two together. Yeah, that's it. I'll give you a better orange. That's actually beautiful. It's lovely. <laughs> now, because I've got such a good teacher. <laughs> now, do you, want, do you want to put a little tree back here, or you want to just leave it the way it is? Because I like the hill the way it is. I kind of like it just like it if is. If you like it the way it is, that's done. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> there it is. It's done. And this is your picture. <laughs> there right? we go. Yes. This is yours. So awesome. that's that's the secret. We might want to use, I'll just show everybody your picture. I don't know if anybody's seen it yet, the picture you're using. Can I can I yep. lift that up somehow? It's, it's straight up and then it'll go back. Oh, whoops. There it is. There. Okay. This is the original picture, everybody. But you know, all we use is a picture to copy. We don't really copy. We use a picture as a reference. Right. And even if you use a picture that's got a copyright on it, or it says on there, um, you know, like it's it's copyrighted or whatever, you don't need to worry because you're not going to copy it. You're no. only using it as a reference. And all artists do that. All artists use something as a reference, whether we use a picture we take, a photograph, a boat we, we have, we're all using something as a reference. We never very seldom get something right out of our head. Oh. If it is out of our head, somebody else probably thought of it. Every year. <laughs> so don't worry about that. So you're used as a reference. That's a very good thing. Now the next thing you do is put your signature on it. That's really, really important because you're an artist now. 
So we need a uh, not with a. I'm going to give you a little pen. It's a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to give you a nice black pen, and you get write your name. Now this is a when you write your name as an artist, mm -hmm. don't use a signature used on checks. No. <laughs> people, are gonna, people might forge <laughs> forge it. So okay, just those have to be so watched. always in the bottom right hand corner. But these can be framed. Okay. These so when you get a frame, these are nice natural sizes like regular sizes, mm -hmm. classic. So they're easy to find frames for. So you never want your name wee over in the edge. Do it about, see where my black is in the pen? Mm -hmm. Do it about there. Set it in about an inch, up an inch, a oh, okay. couple inches, and do it there. Okay? Okay. Okay. And just Let's see do, your, can do, this. do your artist signature. When we do a signature, it's not the same as a check because we don't want people to forge. Yes. <laughs> you forge your checks. <laughs> so you have an art signature. So what you want to do is take maybe, you know, about that space, I'm looking at the black, mm -hmm. and set it in because you're going to might want to frame this. These are nice and frameable because they're regular sizes. Okay. Easy to find frames. You can buy a cheap frame at a dollar store, or you can go to an Opus, or you can go to any frame store, get a nice frame. You can put matting around it. There are lots of options. Okay. So what you want to do is put your signature up about an inch and in about an inch. Okay. So it'll be about that location right there. All right. Okay, so you can right practice your here. practice your artist. Oh, you're getting very nice there. That is coming along beautifully, isn't it? It is. It is. It is coming. Yeah, really nice. I like the uh, des I like the design you're using of your tree. I like the uh, shape of it. It's so different, huh? <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> you love it. No, I like it. <laughs> Yeah, you just need some light, more yellow now. Lots of yellow. It'll be your top color. After you've finished your oranges. Do I want a lighter yellow? A, little a bright, no bright, 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 warm yellow, which that is. And a lot, just more of it. That's it. No, well, that's okay. Well, that's all right. You just do more like it, and then it looks like it's supposed to be that way. Yeah, not, not uh, solid now. You're going to do it here and there, everywhere. Leave, uh, leave those other colors popping through. Yeah, that's the warmest color I gave you. Oh, that's a nice brush, isn't it? Mm hmm Yeah, she's had uh, a lot more practice than I have. You can see it. Yeah, you can. It's very nice. <laughs> okay, where else do I need to see? This is great. This Maybe is take really time, make time to look at it. Here, take it up. Have a look. You can tell. Yeah, you can see, yeah. This has really, really helped a lot. And I have also an easel, uh, table easels. So uh, if you girls uh, want to use an easel for, I use it for larger pictures, but I really don't like an easel. But for just like right now, Lorna, when you pick that up, yeah. sometimes you can't see, and then you, it, you just stand it up for a minute, and then you can see yeah. where it needs it. see where you want to put it. You're going to have to lay it down but to do it, but mm -hmm. I know. Now, question. Yes. You see how I sort of, I've got a ridge here yes. where the paint was thicker? Yeah. Is that because I'm overloading the brush or I'm pressing too hard on no, it? No, no, you just it, had a little bit just, more paint on the edge, that edge of the brush. It was a square brush I think you used, so yeah. that little edge just had a wee bit more. Okay. That's right. But you know what? That's awesome because that's a natural look. When you look at the sky and a, and a, and a mountain against the sky, usually the top has a little bit of a more white or more purple or more green, whatever the sky is. So yours is brown. Yeah. That actually is, is it worked good. Worked out well. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, really good. <coughs> Excuse me. Really nice. You gotta frame to that one, right? Yep. Okay. First semi pro picture. <laughs> <laughs> semi pro. That's like double A or is that like triple A? I'm so vain, I'm so dumb in sports. So you know that when you go to heaven, 
you get a harp. You know, St. Peter meets you at the gate and gives yeah. you a harp. Well, when you go to hell, you know what they gave you? An accordion. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like to play my accordion. Yeah. <laughs> because I make lots of money at my accordion. I just sit on the street and I put on the sign, I'll, you pay me money and I'll stop playing. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I keep playing. Hoopa, hoopa. I play the same song over and over. When the saints go marching in, and, and they get so tired, especially the store owners, oh. but they give me, the, they give me their, all their profits from yeah. that day. Get out of here. Yeah. Can you move down the block? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Not your fussing. Yep. Yeah, I know. I don't know when to stop. <laughs> okay. So does it look finished to you? No. Okay. So what is it that it needs? The grasses around here. Right. So then just do that then and get away from the tree for a minute. It'll get, don't keep washing your brush all those colors you need for your grasses. They're the same colors. <laughs> get rid of all that. Get rid of all that water. And just a few little grasses. So you can take that um, that fan brush again if you want. You just do a little, few little grasses up over the nice brown. Brown will be in front and orange, yeah, that's it. Very little, very little paint, just a little tiny bit there. Just a few little, short little, short little, short, short, shorties in front. And go each side of your tree, each side too. Not just over the tree, but around it. Around the tree. Around the corner and under the tree. <laughs> Where I met you and you met me. It's better than my accordion, right? <laughs> That's good. It's in there now. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay. Okay. Now you've got the option to put that little ring in there or leave it. Because I think if you add a ring to it, they might think, what is that thing? Yeah, I'm uh, just going to leave it. I think so. I, I thought I'd stop at this. Yeah, okay. So how are you for the branches now? Or how are you feeling? Good. This one could have been longer. You don't. You can make it longer. You don't have to have the branch longer. Yeah. Make your orange longer. Yeah. Okay. So take your other brush now. Your crummy brush. Is there one here that maybe is better? Uh, no. no. Uh, I think you have a good one. one. Yeah. This one. That's a good one. It's soft, but it's good. I can make a firmer one if you like. No, That's your watercolor one. This is good. Is it good? Okay. Okay, maybe get some browns in there. You haven't got much brown in there. You need a no. bit of browns. Mix it with your orange and browns and just kind no, of br okay. brown up your orange a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. Just cover. It'll cover. There you go. Don't try to make it perfect. Yeah. Just think of a, a big old gnarly, ugly tree out there. And it's going to be weird looking. And you know, if it's dying, it might not have many branches. Might not have much on it. Might be a might be a tree with half of the leaves fallen already. Look at look at where we are. I mean, one day all the tree, all the branches are all the tree the um, leaves are on the ground. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to have a, a, a tree full of stuff. You could actually lay some do 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 down here if you wanted to. I mean, you know, that's your option. But you don't have to have don't branches. You could have. You could have leaves if you wanted to oh, down there, okay. if you wanted well, to. I brought some down here. Yeah. I brought a few down there. Yeah. But okay. I just want to keep dabbing and it just turns to mud. <laughs> it will turn to mud. <laughs> you keep going because so, those colors together make mud. Yeah. So, um. I think I'll stop. Okay. So have you got enough? Does it look good and look finished to you? No. The only thing I would do <laughs> is I would go off the page here. Yeah. And I would cover that blob. Okay. And this blob. And do a couple of other colors. Just touch it with a brush with some other color. So it just takes away that yellow a bit. Maybe a nice orangey brown. And there you go. Just get rid of the blob. There you go. And go right off right off the page with it. Your tree should go up a bit higher. That's it. That's it. And you got a line there too. She just doesn't match the rest of the tree, that's all. Okay, there you go, see? You can do it. That's it. Okay. 
that's better. <laughs> I like it. There. That looks better, doesn't it? It does. Maybe it's all needed. I think so. Yeah, because that was a, a really ugly copy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and right now there, you're good. right. Right where you are is perfect. I, I, you saw the same thing as me. Right there, yeah. There you go, just put a bit more there. That's it. Wow, that's way better. Oh my gosh, look at the difference. What a difference, yeah. Now look at that, it looks finished. It's funny, a few little dots, what can that do? <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't think, but right away, my eye's going, that looks finished. Yeah. And, I, and I'm with yeah. you before, it didn't look finished. No. And those little tiny touches, did it? Yeah, that's it. Job. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Very nice. I like oh. yours. <laughs> you did wonderful. They're both nice. Yeah. Yeah, and I think this is dry. You can actually um, write your name, sign, sign it, one inch in and one inch up. And a, yeah, and a non checky type signature. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Young people that watch this, they don't even know what I'm talking about. Check? What's that yeah. mean? Like, are you asking for the bill when you go to the restaurant? Like, check, check, please. <laughs> the waiter? What? No, we used to write paper checks, right? Yes. And we'd give them to somebody and say, here's a check. It's the same as cash. It's the same as, be? yeah, now. There. There's no such thing. No. Oh, that's beautiful. You got your signature. Okay, girls, you are done. We're going to let the, we're going to now get the camera do a nice close up. So Definitely. if you want to, you can, you can vacate. Your chair right. okay. has some nice coffee and some goodies. That's awesome. Yeah, and oh say my. goodbye. And we're going to say goodbye to everybody because we're going to have coffee and goodies, right? Yes. yes. So goodbye, everybody. See you next time. And it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it because we have had a blast. Yes. Oh, yes. If you Bye. want any more, if you want me to play my accordion or don't want me to play it, watch it more because I will eventually play it if you keep watching it. So be careful. Watch for more funny faces. Ooh. Okay, take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.